Hi everyone, this is Romy. Um, first off, I do want to wish everyone a um, Happy New Year. Um, I hope that uh, 2013 brings you a lot of joy and happiness and a lot of great things and also, and most importantly, um, a lot of good health. Um, so I know that there's been a lot of blog posts and videos and tweeting about 2013 setups for file faxes and other types of planners. Um, I thought of maybe having everything consolidated into one file fax, um, but ultimately I decided against it. Um, that idea was a bit too overwhelming, and um, even though I love my file fax, I do have other notebooks that I also enjoy, like my ARC, and I want it to be able to use what I have. So basically what I'm gonna do is um, my file fax is going to be my daily planner um, and that's solely its purpose. Uh, I'm not gonna try to fit my entire life into these rings. Um, that was actually stressing me out a bit um, and uh, maybe a lot of you can um, sympathize with that. Um, I know that the fact that we can customize and put in and take out as much as we want is very tempting but I, I can't fit my entire life into be it 15 millimeter rings or 30 millimeter rings um, so basically this is the setup that I've decided on for my file of facts um, I have some business cards and some sticky notes and things on, on, the, on these pockets um, oh, there's Duncan. <laughs> okay, and then um, I have a notebook in here um, that it's a moleskin, those, uh, the flimsy ones, it's going to move somewhere else. Pictures of David and I and David and Duncan, Duncan dressed as a ninja turtle for Halloween. And yes, I do dress up my dog. <laughs> um, here I have a picture of me when I was a child, a baby. And then I have a card here that has my contact info and David's contact info in case of an emergency. Um, just some sticky notes on some pretty cardstock with my theme for the year, or at least for now, which is make it happen. Um, I have more sticky notes back here. Uh, 2013 calendar, registration page, inspiration picture, uh, weight loss is one of my main goals as it is probably a lot of people's, um, but you know, I'm a visual person, I, I need to see things, so um, this is, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, then right in here I have some note paper. This is not a specific section, it's just note paper for notes. Um, for example, I was watching a video on uh, setting up a goals notebook, goal tracking goals and things like that, and I just took notes in here about that, and when I'm done with it, I can either chuck it or keep it or probably chuck it, and no harm done. Then, uh, borrowing from Snarling's video on her uh, compact chameleon, um, I'm using fly leaves to separate my sections. This is um, lists. Uh, basically, what this is is just um, notebook. I mean, to-do list from Filofax. Um, every list that I need to have with me, be it a to-do, a, a shopping, be it um, wish list, book list, movie list. You know, if I want it to be with me, um, it will go in here, and then I'll just mark what it is. I I tried having several sections with different lists. It was overwhelming, and you know let's just consolidate everything into one. Next I have uh, 2013. This is basically a year at a glance. I got this from Homemakers Daily. Patty posted about this. Um, when you print them out for personal size you get two to a page so I just have two of them in here. Um, and just you know you just basically write into each month things that you want to remember that are going to happen that month. In my case this is mostly for bills or things like um, car, insur car insurance payments or license renewals. Um, things like that. Um, I'm still filling it out. There's still a couple things that need to go in here but it's just good to have one reference page and not have to wonder like oh when was that due or when do we need to do that. It's Everything's here. 
Um, this one I might fill out with like home things. I'm not sure yet, but so far so good. Then um, I have my monthlies. Um, sorry about that. My monthlies I got from Filefaxy. Um, I printed them. Uh, thank you so much to Steve and Ray who do such an awesome job of having all these different templates for us. Um, I did not buy any type of uh, insert from Filefax this year. Everything that I need I printed out in really nice uh, thicker white paper which works great. So my monthlies will hold birthdays and then I'm using these Martha Stewart things for recurrent bills so I can just move them ahead once those are paid. Um, in order to keep track of my bills and things like that I have um, piece of graph paper in here. I divide it into pay period and then just write out uh, what bills need to be paid for that pay period and then once they're paid I just um, tick them off. And that's you know working actually pretty good. Then I'm sorry we move into um, weeklies. Um, these are also from Filofaxi. Uh, these are week per page. Um, the size is perfect for me. I, I have a set schedule at work, um, and I'm there for most of my day, so I have enough space to write out my work schedule, and then enough space per day to write any other appointments or date-sensitive things that need to go in there, um, and then, you know, the weekends have enough space for what I need, um, and if I need more space per week, I put in a piece of note paper in the middle, and then just, um, you know, any planning or things that need to go in the week, I can just do it here and everything's consolidated into a nice little package. Then um, my last tab that I have is called um, Info. I don't know if you can see that. Info. Okay. Um, phone numbers, work passwords, um, which is tech typically the information you'd have in info. But I also have stuff like some goal notes, um, notes on setting smart goals, notes on organizing your life with a planner, and notes from a book called The Magic of Thinking Big. Um, these to me are all information or resources. Um, it's not a whole lot, but it's just things that, um, that I found that in my other setups, I would constantly go back to these and kind of read them over and you know, get a little inspiration and remain focused on the things that I wanted to accomplish. So I just kept them in here for reference. Then I have uh, one of these pocket things from Daytimer. Um, just holds random bits and things. And last but not least, I have two flyleaf type things. With some sticky notes um, and, you know, post-its and things like that. And then in the back pocket, um, let's see. Just, you know, like stickers and dots and, you know, the, the usual bits and bobs that we like to keep with us um, in our Filofax pockets. So, that's it. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm oh, sorry about that. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I streamlined it, streamlined it as much as I could to just carry what I need for planning. Um, like I mentioned before, um, trying to fit my entire life into a binder was very overwhelming. Um, and this works way great for the planning, you know, uh, spaces for my day and things like that. But for journaling or goal tracking or, you know, things where I want to write a lot more, these personal size pages are very small. So I'm using, um, and the rings get in the way and that kind of thing. So that was just not working. So I gave myself a break, um, and like I mentioned, I'll, I'll be using two other systems along with this, and I'll film separate videos for those. Um, so, you know, thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to answer and uh, be more active in that commenting part bit of YouTube. Um, but overall, that's the Filofax setup for 2013. So thanks for watching, and uh, you all have a great, great day. Bye-bye.